the H1B guy here, and today, the H1B guy news for the week ending August 18th, 2023. Today, I'll cover lawsuit filed over H1B visa lottery application denials. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguy.com. Today's news is brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain, by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process, and by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner, Mob Squad, has a solution. Join the squad. Now, the news. Well, I wanted to start off today's news with a quick announcement. I'm excited to announce that next Thursday, August 24th, I'll be joined by my good friend, Deep Patel, and other members from Improve the Dream for the first time in two years on the H1B Guy platform. We have a lot of catching up to do on their advocacy for documented dreamers and age out protections. So please make plans on August 24th at 6 p.m. Eastern to join us. On August 11th, 2023, Andrew Krybaum for Bloomberg Law posted an article titled Indian grads sue over H-1B denials based on employers' fraud, which covers a recent lawsuit that was filed against the Department of Homeland Security. A summary of the article includes that the lawsuit is filed as Sharma v. U.S. Department of Homeland Security with a group of nearly seven Indian nationals named as plaintiffs. The basis of the lawsuit stems from the denial of their H-1B visas due to fraudulent activities committed by their employers. Despite their claims of being unaware of the employer's fraudulent actions, they found themselves penalized due to their association with these businesses. The case filed in the Federal District Court of Washington State asserts that these workers were unfairly treated and denied the opportunity to respond. The plaintiffs argue that their subsequent employment at legitimate businesses was disregarded when DHS denied them H-1B visas. The lawsuit requests the court to reverse DHS's decision on their H-1B visa applications, allowing them the chance to address any allegations of fraud before their admissibility to the U.S. is determined. The legal claim contends that the agency oversteps its authority by going against the Administrative Procedure Act and branding the plaintiffs as inadmissible without thoroughly examining the evidence. Plaintiffs also express that they were wrongly penalized due to this connection with their employers without being granted an opportunity to present further evidence of their relationship. Foreign students that were admitted under F-1 visas have the opportunity to work in the U.S. for a year following graduation, which can be extended to three years for those with STEM degrees. This program, called Optional Practical Training, enables international graduates the opportunity to begin their careers in the U.S. while seeking more permanent immigration statuses, such as H-1B visas. In 2022, over 117,000 individuals participated in this program, as reported by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, as we call them, an agency within DHS responsible for OPT. This lawsuit highlights the complexities and challenges faced by foreign graduates seeking to establish themselves in the U.S. job market, as well as navigate the complex H-1B visa application process. It also highlights how broken the H-1B visa lottery system is and the necessity for reform. Can't say that I'm surprised that there's a lawsuit of this nature that's been filed. In fact, I think it's more surprising that it's actually taken someone this long to challenge DHS and USCIS on their adjudications. 
My biggest takeaway, however, is that with a lawsuit like this pending, it's really difficult to predict when USCIS will conclude allocation of their H-1 visa allotment for fiscal year 2024, and if a third H-1B lottery will be necessary. For the full post on the H-1B Guy News for the week ending August 18th, 2023, please check out the h1bguy.com. And a reminder that today's news was brought to you by Syndesis and Pata Canada, the ideal plan B for high school immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Syndesis and Pata Canada are your answers. They'll gladly help you navigate the process, and if you'd like to find out if you qualify, please be sure to use the link in the video description below, and someone from Sedesis or Path to Canada will be in touch. And by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner Mob Squad has a solution. Mob Squad helps technology professionals facing U.S. work visa-related challenges remain working with their current U.S. employer near shore from Canada, as well as technology professionals from around the world who are seeking to find a rewarding opportunity in North America. Through their partnership with the Canadian government, they can obtain a Canadian work permit for you and your spouse in as little as four to six weeks. So whether you're looking to stay working with your current U.S. employer or you want to find a new opportunity in Canada, please find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you via the link in the video description below. Join the squad. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.